the ultimate guide to making a McDonald's in Minecraft. So first, you need to get emerald blocks. Then some a block of raw gold. And then a red nether brick. So the floors first. So you want to fill the floor with red nether brick. Let's just do that quick. Anyway, if you find these guys helpful, subscribe. And make sure to leave a comment down on what guide I should do next. So here is will be the kitchen. Okay, we've got the base kitchen done already. So just fill the floor in. And subscribe. So as you can see I'm filling the floor in with nev red nether bricks comment down below what your favorite rock flurry is so first we've got the base of the kitchen Perfect. So then let's make the walls of the kitchen. This McDonald's is going to have two floors. One for dining and the other for the kitchen. As you can see, we're just making the counter. So you want to use the raw gold for the counter. And the wall needs to be made out of emerald. So the first floor of this McDonald's is going to be this tall. So one, two, three, four blocks tall. And then we need an iron door so nobody gets in and steals the stuff. And next we need a lever. Perfect. You've now made your own McDonald's door. And for the stairs, you're going to use birch planks. The birch stairs. And a birch fence. It's getting night time. You want, and then you want a block at the side. We'll 
we'll do the wall first and then we can make the upstairs. So we're just finishing the roof of our McDonald's. Let's finish those stairs then. Now it's time for an entrance. So you have red, red nether brick over here. And then you want a birch door. And you want stairs at the entrance. There you have it. Yeah, it's in the McDonald's. In a second, we're going to hear a McDonald's fun fact. Did you know the chicken nuggets at McDonald's come in shapes? There's the circle, the boot, and the bone. Comment down which is the best. The best one is the boot because you can dip stuff in it. If you found this helpful, subscribe. There you have it, your first floor of your McDonald's is done. Make the roof of the first floor red nether brick. Alright, so we're just going to make the walls of our McDonald's. It's looking pretty tasty. Perfect, so your McDonald's wants to look like this so far. Alright. So now you want to make the kitchen. Did you not know there's actually two villages here? So if you want any more, if you run out of 
space in one village you can expand to the other which is a really helpful feature so make sure to spawn at coastal village for good luck We need to remove the lever and then we go on the lever. We just need a lever. Oh, after two hours of getting a lever again. There it is. You don't want your perch fence anymore, so mind you, you do want your birch fence. I'm just doing this guide as I go along for you guys. Probably the weirdest guide I've ever done. But. Well, you want three diamonds, right? Well, look at the guide early in the video. Sorted, free guide. If you want any guides, it's Holly Gunnies. Subscribe for better guides. Holly Gunny Guide, that's guiding for you. So now you've got the first floor of your McDonald's done. You want to turn the lever. Right, we need to place the lever again. Perfect. There you go. Now we need the lights. So we don't want a dark McDonald's, we want a light McDonald's. This floor is going to be where we put all the tables. So this is the dining floor. Two more blocks tall this floor needs to be. So one. So that is the height of the building. So the height of the building will be one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine blocks. So just count that quick. And once you've done that, fill in the top floor's walls. Well, you're your current top floor's walls. This will be half of the top floor. As you can see here, this is what it'll look like. We've nearly done our roof. Comment down below how good this roof looks. All right, that's, this is what half of your McDonald's look, look like. So that'll be the first part. This is where you get the kitchen ready. To make floor, or sure, not floor. To line the roof up with the smaller part of the McDonald's. And then your roof will be done and your walls. That's just a quick extra. 
You're going to be turned into a hamburger. Are you excited? Perhaps I'm past one now. Do you want to be like your brother, Stanley? Haha. <laughs> mm. These pigs will be dinner too. From McDonald's. Sorry, Theo's just being a bit annoying. He wants the video to be ruined by Theo, because I'm not. So this will be your roof so far. So you want to fix the second floor on and then you can make your ovens. We need some chicken for the nuggets, not you, Donkey. There's chicken! You're going to be made into some chicken nuggets! Come here, chicken nuggets! Mmm, chicken nuggets. Two more to go until the roof is done of the first floor of the second floor is done. So your second floor will look like this. This will be your McDonald's. If it does not look like mine, just rewind the video and watch it again. Make sure to join me in Hebel too for some crazy team rewards. We have got 25,000 fans on our team now. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys that have supported us and our team. So, make sure to download Head Button. What do you think to the McDonald's now? The McDonald's should look like this. It's looking bigger now, but it should look more big. Are you ready? Time for some kitchen. Oh my, we just need to get to the correct. Yep, that's fine. What? We don't need a door at a minute, we need a lever, we don't need a torch, and we don't need. So, what is it we need? We need a furnace, we need a chest. By the chest. Perfect. And then we need we need some signs. Are you ready? The furnaces are being up. So these will be our furnaces. We want to fill the whole of this wall with furnaces. Until here. Since 
you want to come up there first, yellow. Because people cannot see past this point because it's the kitchens. And there will be some doors. To get to the counter. So your kitchen should look like this. And then your counter should be like this. Now we need the storage. We need two large chests. And two normal chests. And then you want to get as much roast chicken and pork as you can. Burgers. You want burgers. One cake, you want cookies, so you want used items from there, and for the meat, you want a stack of chicken and a stack of pork. Stack of pork, and there will be your burger. So your bread will go in the first chest, your cake will go in the second chest, you'll put, your cookie will go in the second chest too, your, your chicken nuggets will go in the large chest which is number three, and then you'll put 64 pork chops in the fourth chest. And there you have it, the kitchen is done. And next we need the room for the drive through. So let's just make the paying station. Or shall I? yeah, that's the paying station will be here. And then the collect station will be here. This is, this McDonald's is called the King Bat, so this is King Bat Town. Sit down here, you want upstairs, so. You need torch, so you want to swap the torch for the chest. It's night time. So all we need to do is the final floor of our McDonald's. All the walls are filled in. Oh no, this one isn't. Let's just fill this in quick. Right, this one's filled in. I just need to fill in the final wall. Are you ready? This, is, this will be our McDonald's nearly complete. Let's 
you can see, my McDonald's is actually nearly complete. When it's complete, we're going to have to have a celebration. The, the wall has been fitted in. And we just need to place the tables down. So for a table, you'll need a birch fence. But whichever pressure plate you want it to be, this is going to be a cool McDonald's. I'd recommend a pressure plate to be gold if you want a cool McDonald's. If you want a normal McDonald's, I'd recommend it to be normal or wood. But I don't know. I would just throw out the pressure plates. They should be here somewhere. I can't find the pressure plates. They should be in this row. There's the pressure plate. I'm having an oak pressure plate for this one. So we need a big table, a medium table, and a small table. So this is going to be the big table. So let's put. We want. This is going to be the big table. And this table will be suitable for 10 people. Isn't that good? And next we've got a medium table for just a family, so this will feed, fit four people on. Here's a family bar table. Now let's put a, a couple table down. Who wants to have hard tables to sit on or who wants some nice table to sit on? I'm going to choose nice tables. So Let's just get the seats. Seats are on here. Somewhere. Oh, there they are. They're going to be yellow seats. This, you're going to sit on yellow wall. So, just get the seats ready. Are you ready? So that will be our seating complete. And we're done. Not just yet. Because we need the main ceremony to happen. Something that has kept these McDonald's up for years. Here comes the red. Here comes the red. And then comes the yellow. -na 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 -da -da -da. Here we go. This is the main opening ceremony of McDonald's. Are you ready? Da -na 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 -na. All right, guys. Here we go. McDonald's sign is coming up. Ready? This is going to be the second one. Here we go. That's the second M. And then here comes the third M to complete the McDonald's. Here it comes, and the McDonald's is complete. Look at a McDonald's. It's so nice. And then we need and then we need to make it stand out, so put some torches on top of the M. And there you have it, your very own Minecraft built McDonald's. If you found this helpful, subscribe.
and this is epic.
gonna have to have some blocks if you wanna escape from here, cause. This is a wonky pause. Go. Oh, that is not the right one. Oh, yep. Built it wrong, let's just fix you up. I need, a, I need granite. Away. We need, we need it to be one more block tall. We don't have to cut down the top, we can just cut down the sides. Can't we? It's only me. See? And there you have it, another portal. Are you ready? Steady? Guys, this is how to get some more diamonds in Minecraft. So, you don't want house number one. Number two. But number three with the animal ranch. Dig straight down. Make sure to have an iron pickaxe. And you will find yourself a vein of three diamonds. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe for more Minecraft tips. I just found this one out while I was doing the end introduction, so make sure to get six diamonds now so there you've got your pickaxe and your sword what's next find some more to complete Minecraft so remember it's house number three So, three diamonds for the winner. Now I'm going to create a new world in survival mode. And then you will see these are actually real. So watch me. So if I go create a new world. Survival. We don't want it hard because we're just showing you guys. You want to go to templates and you'll see it wants to be so you want to go all the way to coastal village press create and i'll show you this is actually real in survival mode i just didn't place the diamonds down see i've created the new world now i'm not going to call my game or anything this is absolutely real as you can see i'm in survival mode Remember, it's house three for the first diamonds. So I'll be coming up to the village. Trust me, if this is your. This is this is how to get your to the Nether as quick as possible. I'm trying to help you guys, and you have to help me by subscribing. So it's right next to the animal ranch. So it's dig straight down there. First we need to claim our iron pickaxe from here. So you will get an iron pickaxe, an iron sword, 
iron boots and iron leggings. And five iron ingots. They'll come in handy later. So put these on. We can each get a pickaxe if you're in survival. Or multiplayer me, not survival. Or you can keep your secret stash. And then you can add to your secret stash. Alright, so you want to go to the next one. This one will be too to you. So there should be another one right down the road. You want to go inside and you will see obsidian and some iron boots and leggings. So you don't want to take the leggings if you're in one player, but you might want to if you're in multiplayer. So it's random spawns and you'll see five obsidian and we'll get into that in a minute. Because there's a little trick that I've got on my sleeve for you guys. Alright. Just be, just be aware. Remember you're digging straight down. So you need to get the right layer. Are you ready? I'm a bit calm. Ready? You want to dig straight down. Even though it's the first rule of Minecraft. Still gonna be good fortune. You want to go all the way down to depths then. Some iron up there. Harvest that later. Be careful you pick the break. This is zero effort diamond. The vein of diamonds. There's one diamond. Wait. Got one diamond, you can see. Straight down. Yeah, this is a bit deeper than I think so. I'm going to stack up. See? You can just stack right up to the top with all your mine. Build up again. Dig around until you find these diamonds. Da -da -da. 
Mac says the granite. Now one of your pickaxes about done it. Just don't go too deep down. Since you go too deep down, you'll pass the diamonds in them. No treasure for you. So who wants treasure? All of you. So why not watch my videos? It gives you treasure, so why not only mm -hmm. treasure? Find a spare one from the other. I can just make a new one. Skyrock. What's this? The balance we have to make. But we can make one. So, what do you need for a crafting table? So, just one of mine, the house, or house. I'm sorry for it. I feel sorry for the house, but I want to place this down. Make a seat and uh, a diamond pick. So you need two sticks. So um, just gotta destroy this villager's home. He may be sad. You see, your treasures are okay. You can do it for the subscribers. But he said no, he hasn't, but he has to, because I'm forcing him to. That's all just stabbing with the sword. Alright, with a spare pick in, in our inventory, we're ready to go. Remember, don't walk down the other hole, else you'll die. Ready? It's time for round two. Dirt time, dirt time. Now it's time for pit time. It's not even half break, so. As long as you've got an iron pick, you can do this. I recommend you to only use iron pickaxe. I recommend you to get one from the village. Because you do not want to miss any. There's the iron ore. Which we're kind of close. I can see it's some blocks that have stacked up. There we are. Here she is, the diamonds. One. Final one, it might take you some hunting, but you'll get it eventually. Because stuff can be a little hard to find, we always have to get through it. We know it's a game, everything that is done. Rage. You just have to live in it. Time to go home and get some diamonds. This boy, you might want to make some torches. I've got some good news. There is a coal mine at the village. 
as you can see, we can make our diamond sword first thing for the ender dragon. We've got six raw iron to smell that. And we can get a full set of armor. Looks like we're gonna have to use some cobblestone. <sighs> Morning, that's my poor stress. It's nine. The house said nine. Because I hate it, but. But, 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 um, that was weird. Seriously, I was just casually mining. Maybe the might. but. They, they go at a real diamond sword. This early on, ridiculous. And then I'll show you where the coal mine is. This is where we learn how to be a pro at Minecraft. Here's the coal mine, son. The darkness is annoying in Minecraft. Everything mostly is annoying. But survival. Like when you die in Minecraft, imagine you die in real life. So you've just got to be thankful that you're not in Minecraft. See, this is 100% guaranteed coal and diamonds. So this is a nice peaceful mine you can go to to go snatch up some coal. So this village is legendary. So if you're looking for a good village, it's this one. If you're looking for a seed, you're looking for this one. If you're looking for diamonds, you're looking for here. If you're looking for diamonds, if you're looking to win, here. Like if, like if I asked Thea to do, get whoever gets the diamonds first, I'll just do this trick. And then, there you go, diamonds. I've got two, three diamonds. But I think you might think. So this is going to be the smelting part and this is going to be the stick car. Push me luck. Because I'm about to go into the scary deep cave. If you want, if you've got any tricks to share on the channel, comment down in this honest video. And remember, Never worry. We want to craft all the sticks we can craft. We can craft a stack of torches. Easy. See? 64 torches. Off the back. Literally off the back. Did you hear me off the back? Seriously. Easy money. For your journey. Okay, so if we... We have enough. We just have... We literally just have enough. There we go. Our helmet. For our armor. And then I'll just leave the furnace running. We'll just go talk to some villagers while we wait. We have a stack of porches. And then I'm going to show you now why. 
I brought this. Obsidian. There's guaranteed luck here. Is there any extra iron to kill the iron golem? Simples. And you see what what is that over there? An abandoned nether portal. So that's why I told you to get the obsidian. Say bye bye. <laughs> Everybody say bye bye to Mr. Woggles. Um, poor Mr. Woggles. He got killed by me. I'm the new Mr. Woggles. Okay. I'm not really Mr. Woggles. Rest in peace. I sometimes make. I've done so many playthroughs on in Minecraft, and this should just be my main playthrough place. This village. It's peaceful and easy to start. So if you don't know how to play the game, follow this guy. And if you want diamonds, just follow the guy. Like, ready. Ready for me to complete your pickaxe. And I'm going to take myself to the nether. So look, what is this? I'm just not joking, it's a diamond sword. Literally a real diamond sword. Remember, we have to go for a little swim. And then, claim your diamonds as you swim. Oh, are you ready? Careful not to pull down, or you can pull down if you want a shock. Not very pleasant, because it could kill yourself, but this is probably the most dangerous mission by far. Because you're in a cave. Like if you're on easy or over as zombies that could spawn, so. As you can see, we head to a spot, and there's the diamonds. Look. They're what we're looking for. And this is better than the last one. There's not, not just one. Not two. But three diamonds. And what have you obtained? A diamond pickaxe and a diamond sword. Simples. How to get diamond equipment. So if you're ever scared of taking on the under dragon, do this. Because this could save you so much time of having to hunt for diamonds to get the obsidian. Do all the boring bits. I have you. Oi, grinning. Guys. Let's get guided for more. Are you ready? Let me show you how to make your very own easy nether portal. See that? The village whoosh.